So in this video, I'm going to introduce you to a new feature of the debugger called Step Into. Um, before we get to there, let's do a quick review of what we know about the debugger so far. Uh, this is the code from Functions 1, uh, a walkthrough that you should have previously done for this uh, particular um, class prep section. And you can see that I've set a breakpoint at line number 8. So that means that when I debug this, it's execution is going to pause at line number 8. So I'll go ahead and do that now. So I go ahead and start it, and we can see that it's highlighted line number 8. Execution is stopped here, and now I get to decide what I want to do. I can see my variables over here, and then I have these buttons up here on the top right corner that allow me to step through my code. Now in the past, we've been using step over. And so when I click step over, you can see that what it does is it executes this line of code so that it's now asking me for a positive integer. I'll go ahead and enter in 50. And then once that line of code is finished, it waits on the very next line of code. So the uh, function call to get positive int has finished. We are now on the line that says printf, thanks for the integer. And so if I click step over once again, it'll print out thanks for the 50. And if I click step once again, uh, we are finished. The, the uh, program is finished executing and we are done. So that's how step over works. Now let's take a look at how this program works with step into. So I'm going to click this debug button again. But this time, when it pauses on line 8, instead of clicking step over, uh, give me one second here, let me just refresh this. This time, when it pauses on line 8, instead of clicking step over, I'm going to click this button right here that says step into. So watch where we go next. Last time we went to this line when I click step over. But when I click step into, it takes me into the function that's being called on this line. So the step into feature is used to go into a function call. It can only really be used when we see a function call on a particular line. In this case, we see a call to get positive int. And so when I use step into, it takes me inside of that function so that we can see how that function is behaving. So we're now inside of this get positive int function. And I can go ahead and use step over now. You'll see that it says, please give me a positive int. And then it'll go ahead and wait for me to uh, give it a positive int. If I give it a negative int, like negative 2, for example, Right? We can see that it's going to go through the loop again since I failed this condition, since I gave it a negative int instead of a positive int. So we have to try again. This time I'll go ahead and give it 50. And now that I've given it a positive int, watch what happens. The loop is finished. So we're now on this return statement. You'll recall from our previous exercises that the return statement indicates that the function is over. The function is finished. It also defines what the output of our function should be. So in this case, we tell it to return the value of n, where we can see n is that value of 50 that I typed into the console. But where is it going to go next? Well, the function is over. And when a function is over, we have to go back to the place where the function was called. In this case, the function was called up here on line number 8. So the function is over. We're going to go back to where the function was called and then proceed to the next line. The output of this function will get assigned to this variable. And then we'll go back to this printf function. So when I go ahead and click step over, you see that that's where we end up. We end up at printf. Right? So a function call means go to this function definition and do whatever it tells you to do. And when that function is finished, come back to this particular spot and then keep going with the next line of code. We saw we just saw how that worked with the step into function. Now there's one more thing I want to show you before I wrap this up. I'm going to run this one more time. And this time I'm going to use step into again. You'll notice that oh let me try it again. Let me just do a quick refresh here. This time um, You'll remember that I said step into only is really particularly useful for lines with function calls. So here we have a function call to get positive int, and I can go ahead and step into it. Well, what about printf? Printf is also a function. Printf is one of the first functions that we learned about. What happens if I try to step into printf? 
you'll see that if I try to step into printf, that nothing happens. It looks like I just stepped over it. And the reason for that is we did not write printf. Printf was given to us as part of this standard IO library. So because we didn't write printf, we can't step into it. We did write get positive int. So we can step into that function and see how that function behaves. Um, so be aware of that little, um, um, how that works with step into. We can only step into functions that we have created, that we have written ourselves. We can't step into functions that other people have written. Um, so if we go ahead and you know continue, right? We'll see that it executes as normal. Okay, that about wraps it up for this video. Uh, I will see you soon.